Greetings, we're starting a new unit, and um, you probably remember exponent rules. Um, we'll be going back over some of those things, uh, maybe with a little bit of new terminology. So one of those new words is monomial, and mono like monotone, uh, one tone, or monochrome, a painting with one color. So monomials just have one term. So a monomial is really a constant, could be considered a monomial, a variable, or some combination that's a product of constants and or variables. Um, so I just gave you a few examples. Uh, so some of those we're really used to using, like 2x, uh, and some of those look a little new, uh, where our variables have exponents. So for a monomial uh, to be like terms, for two monomials to be like terms, they would have to have the same variables with the same exponents. So if I want to add and subtract monomials, that just means something you've heard before, and that is that we combine like terms. So paying attention to their signs, combine the like terms. So 17x minus 25x, or you could think of it as 17x and negative 25x, negative 8x, negative 15a cubed bc plus 6a cubed bc, so focus on those coefficients, a negative 9, and then notice we do not change the exponents when we are combining like terms, when we are adding and subtracting. Um, if they are not like terms, such as number five, you cannot combine these two. You simply would rewrite the same thing because one of them has AB and one of them has BC, so they're not like terms. So let's look down the page and um, remember that for adding and subtracting, you would need to have a common denominator if you have a fraction. So that's kind of a conversation, uh, if you don't remember that, it's a conversation for a different lesson. Um, but basically I need the bottom numbers to be the same. So I need to find a common multiple between 3 and 5. 15 works right, because 3 times 5 is 15. Um, to make an equivalent fraction, the top and bottom of the fraction must be multiplied by the same thing. So 3 times 5 gave me 15, so 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 5 gives me 15, 1 times 5. And then when I subtract those, I have 1 15th and CD squared. If they didn't have just C and D to the second, they wouldn't be like terms and I wouldn't need to mess with that. If you see that there are, for instance, in number 11, we see that there are W's and W squareds. The second power can go together and the first power can go together. You cannot press all of these together. The squared on the W does not mean that we square the 13. It would have to be like inside some parentheses for that to happen. So these two are like terms, and even though they're not next to each other, I can combine them. Notice there's not an equal sign anywhere here, so I'm not moving it across. So the signs do not need to change. So 13w squared and 4w squared, 17w squared, and then our first power of w, positive 9w, negative 31w, negative 22w. And then that's where we would stop. Uh, 13 through 16 are just written in words to start out with. Remember that sum means to add, and so I would be doing this. subtract 9a from negative 15a, 
So the negative 15a would be first. Difference is also subtraction in number 14. The minus would go in the middle and you go in the same order that it's given to you. And then 16 kind of flips 15 around. It says from this, subtract this. So then we would actually start with this, subtract negative 2cd to the second. So now that we have those problems kind of translated, um, pause the video, try to work those, and then unpause and you'll see my answers and you can check to see if we agree. Okay, so there are my responses to 13 through 16, the circled things. So um, if you disagree, then please uh, let me know um, and ask questions as you need to. Hopefully that went well, um, and that will help you um, with the homework problems. If you're in my current class, the homework problems um, that are on Unit 4, Homework 1, um, that will help with 1 through 12. And then next we're going to, um, in a separate video, I will talk about multiplying monomials. So this one was only the adding and subtracting.